Good evening, everyone. This is Jeanette with um, Janda Panda Treasures. I'm a part-time reseller, and I sell mostly on Macari. And in my um, home description box, there should be a link to my Macari shop. This is the second time I'm recording, because the first recording, I did a complete recording, and it stopped after a couple of seconds. So I am... If you, hear me in weird spots, it's because I'm checking to make sure I'm still recording. Okay, so anyway, uh, I had an, uh, kind of a little bit of an unboxing with uh, a couple of auctions from Goodwill. So I completely went through every single item um, already. Um, so now I've kind of cherry picked through and, and took a few of the nicer pieces. So this is probably gonna be a shorter video. And um, so what I have initially, I'm gonna start with the Bulova. Um, this is a beautiful um, Bulova watch and it works. And um, it says on the back that it has a 10 karat gold bezel. And the bezel is this part that goes around the crystal. But uh, I don't know if you could see it in the video, but that little uh, red um, second hand is going straight around and it's working uh, just beautifully. I am so excited. It's just a really pretty watch to begin with. It's a nice, very round circle and it feels really good. The band's in really good shape. And um, anyway, it does say on the back and I, you know, I'll test it if I have to, but um, I'm going to believe that since it's on the back, it's probably 10 karat gold. So that's really nice. Doesn't look like there's any scratches on the crystal. So great. I'm so thrilled about that little find. So I also unpacked a series of lovely brooches. And um, I'll put this one out but um so here's some brooches and so i thought these were just adorable and here's another one so these are all the brooches that came out of these lots they're all different this one um, i think most of them are unmarked I think this one was a Monet. Um, and I think that's the only one that was marked. Um, so most of them are gonna be two and a half inches to one inch. Um, so I'll go through them. This is two and a half inches right here. This one is, I don't know if that's like a, an embedded safety pin. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it feels like to me. But this looks like it might be hand painted. It's a scene where a, a, a man on a whale. Oh, is that, where's Waldo? It looks like Waldo right there. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that, but he does look like Waldo. But this, there's a team of horses here and it's got these, this little gold scroll work hand painted around the ends. So, I mean, this could be a, somebody's craft piece, but um, it's really kind of nice. And I know brooches are making a huge comeback. The reason why I'm refilming this guy right here is because it's in really pretty shape. I can see wearing that maybe to a wedding, but I noticed that one of the stones, what they call is a dead stone. And that's because either moisture or something was eating away at the backing of the rhinestone. But the stone's still there, so I don't know if it can be repaired. Um, and it is also a pendant. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then I have this beautiful mother of pearl shiny heart, pink heart. Maybe another thing you can wear to a wedding with all the pink stones still there. Nice back. Everything works. 
Here's the cutest little guy. He's, he's a little frog. I mean, with the glass rhinestones. He is unmarked. He's just really cute. I really like him. He's adorable. This is an interesting one. All of the stones are there. It's either very dirty or it's got some worn pieces. But these are these stones right here are not faceted or anything. The green ones, they're kind of rough, like a druzy kind of stone. But they feel, I don't know, they feel kind of plastic. Anyway, so, and the, all the per, little pearls are there. So I thought this was a very cute brooch. Um, interesting, and I like it. And then we have this really sweet, I don't know, it even looks like it's 40s or 50s vintage. Um, maybe it's not, but oh, it's sticking out a little bit there. Uh, little stocking, and there's no marks on the back. It's in really good shape, nice thick enamel, and all the little rhinestones are there in the different colors. So that's a cute little little brooch for the holidays. Cute little turtle stick pin. All of the stones are there. And um, that little part's working. And um, all of his little stones are there. So he's cute, his little eyeballs are there. And then we have a J. Just all the stones are there, no markings. It doesn't feel very expensive. But the stones are there, so that's pretty cool. Little J. This one's one of my favorites. This is the Monet piece. It feels really good. It's a little white Scotty dog with a black ribbon and a black eye, and all the stones are there. And this is, um, my daughter has a little white terrier named Sandy, and this cone reminds me of Sandy. So those are the brooches that came out of this Goodwill lot. It wasn't a blue box, it was just something I bid on. Now this is what made me bid on that lot. And this is a, and it's marked inside, and this is a Liz, P-A-I-A-C-O-I, -I no. Let's start all over again. L-I-Z-P-A-I-A-C-I-O-S, uh, copyright San Francisco. But I just thought it was just beautiful. I mean, it could use a buffing, but and it looks like it might be brass. But it's got this gorgeous, be beautiful stone in the center. And uh, I don't know what's what how old it is. Um, so I will be doing a little bit of research on this lovely piece. It's just, it was so pretty. And since I'm from the Bay Area, I mean, San Francisco is, you know, you know that saying, I left my heart in San Francisco. I'm not from there, but I'm from close by. Anyway, it's just got some beautiful metal work around the stone. This is Copper Bell brand. It has a mark in there. Um, this just needs some um, polishing. I don't know anything about that brand, but I will look that up. There's a couple of other little bracelets here. This is a nice little, vin uh, maybe it's vintage, I don't know. I doubt it. But it's a real pretty, um, real pretty bracelet. Uh, it's, well, I don't, the jump rings are magnetic, but the center, the, the pieces are not, so I might test them. I don't think they are, because I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. But it's got the clasp, I believe, is the focal point. It's got a safety chain. And uh, the rhinestones are there on the end pieces. And it's seven inches. All the braces came out to seven inches. This is a really pretty piece. And it's not marked. But all the pearls are there and they're in really good shape. The it's not it's not precious metal, but um, and it looks like it was made to be. I mean, it, to look worn or something. I don't know, but it's got the vintage fold over clasp. This was nice. 
This is a, a nice little twist. This chain feels like butter. I don't know if you're familiar with like Joan Rivers and her jewelry. I got a hold of a piece of jewelry of jo Joan Rivers and I tell you, it was the most comfortable, wearable piece of jewelry I've ever touched. Her jewelry is great. I don't have any of her jewelry here with me, but this really reminds me of that. Now this happens to be a Monet. And uh, this is marked Monet everywhere. It's marked Monet on the pendant, or I don't know if you call that a pendant if it's attached to it, the chain itself, but it is marked Monet here. It is marked Monet on the clasp, which is, uh, Kristen, I think, told me that, um, or told her YouTubers that Monet has a patent on this. I call it like a pincher clasp, like that. And it's marked on the clasp. I don't know if it, it might say Monet or it might say patent pending. And then of course it's got the Monet hang tag. All the stones are there. It's not scratched. It's in perfect shape. It feels like butter. I mean, just silk. And um, so you know it's gonna, you know, and you just know it's not gonna scratch you or, or anything like that. Little quick measure on this pretty girl and that would be a total of uh, 15 and a half inches and there is no extender so that's very nice oh here's a couple of bracelets that came out of the bag I thought they were kind of cool this is uh, they to me they look like souvenir bracelets that you would get if you were visiting like Yellowstone or Yosemite. Um, these are made of wood, but it looks like branch cross sections that are glued to these portions here. These are seven inches. Um, they were in the bag. I thought they were cool. They're just uh, lacquered pieces of wood. Okay, so. I do have some pretty necklaces. This is not marked. It's in really good shape. It's got a little dip there. So it's a really pretty necklace, faux pearl. It's about 15 and a half to, or no, 16, well, 15 and a half to 18 inches. It's just really pretty on both sides. Nothing's broken, nothing looks worn out. No maker's mark. This I thought was pretty. It does need to be repaired. It's just a little slight repair. This is a beautiful vintage necklace. And what I like about it is it's got like all these different colored like beads. You have your, no, your faux pearls here, and then you have these faux pearls right here that have kind of an aurora borealis or a, um, you know, a, a very nice uh, sheen to it. And some of them are white, some of them are off-white, and then you have this crackle kind and then the standard kind, and it's on this vintage clasp. Here's the rest of it. But I believe this one was 15 to 18 inches as well. But it's really nice. And there's uh, nothing broken, nothing missing. Looks in really good shape. And then there's this pretty, pretty cameo. This one um, looks like it's, you know, it's, it's got that hematite looking back to it. And then a kind of a bronze attached piece to it. This is not marked. Uh, it's in really good shape. It really needs a bath and a good cleaning. Oh, wait, it did have a marking. It had BJ, copyright BJ. So I was going to go look that up. But I thought that was really nice. Nice piece. And this one, I think I measured out at, was it 22? Let me see. The chain itself is 24 inches, and the total drop is, looks like 14 and a half inches. No markings on the chain, so. And here's a really nice piece. This is Japan. 
And what I like about this piece, it's, it's got like these lucite pieces. It does need a good cleaning. Uh, it does look like some of it's in kind of, you know, worn out shape. But this is marked Japan on the back. The clasp works. This is just some dirt and grime that'll come off. But it almost looks like moonstone or cat's eye. But they feel like they're, I know they're plastic. They're probably lucite of some sort or some sort of acrylic. So that, that was really cute. And that one measured out to be a uh, 13 inch drop. So that's a good size. And we have this really pretty locket. The total drop is 15 inches. Well, maybe yeah, 15, I would, say, I would I'd call that 15 inches. Uh, S chain, no, it's magnetic. It has a barrel clasp. Nice big locket with a rose on it. And um, it's about one and a half by one and a half, I guess. And there's nothing in it. I already opened it, but it's very pretty. It's got some dents in it, probably from taking pictures in and out of it. Um, and it's got a little bit of scratches, but a little buffing. Be, look really cute, really nice. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this that came out of the, the box. This is, looks like it's part of a sweater clip of some sort. I don't know if it could be a, a shoe clip, but I do want to mention to you that there's a YouTube um, channel called Princess Casserole, and she does these... Um, Kind of educational segments because you know when you're looking through these boxes you don't know what you're looking at and you're going well what is that anyway so this looks like it might be a sweater clip or a shoe clip she did a segment just on clips so all the way from you know shoe clips to fur clips to sweater clips um just just see the difference you know when you're looking for items like that it was only one of these and it's in really bad shape. But I wanted to share that with you because she also has an educational video on how to um, identify real cameo. And she does uh, layering so that you can take, you know, pieces of jewelry and put them together. And she calls it layering. So you can wear more than one necklace or more than two necklaces and, and how to, you know, Put bracelets together and rings and things like that so and she also has it with uh, she, her most of her videos are live but uh, she also has a craft with me so she'll do a craft project with everybody and um, show everybody how she designs her craft projects and how she puts things together so it's pretty nice there's a lot of good YouTube channels out there and they're very willing to share information. This was funky. It's a peanut, a hollow, very hollow peanut, but it's, it's pretty strong. It's got that S chain and it's not, you know, precious metal, but it's looks like it's vintage. It feels like it's vintage. Total drop is 14 inches. The total chain is uh, 12 inches, so uh, it's a 24 inch chain. But it's it's kind of a cool little little item. It looks like a real peanut, and it is. It's heavy. We also have this pretty piece. This is a vintage uh, necklace, of course, and it uh, doesn't have a mark on it. But these are glass. And these are actual beads. They're not like that kind that, you know, get stuck or fused to a string. These are actual beads. And there's about, um, you know, I'd say four or five um, seed beads or tube beads in between. Um, and it's got this beautiful vintage clasp to it. This extends out to... All together, maybe 18 inches. And what's nice is this also came with, sorry, I'm put this back together without, okay, I did. It also came with the earrings. 
And I mean, the earrings are in okay shape, but what I like about getting these guys with earrings is that sometimes even if the earrings are broken, I always ship it with a necklace because if you lose a piece of your necklace, you can, you can always, you know, take it from the earrings. And this one looks like the earrings is it's starting, this one's starting to fall apart. So these are good to have around, you know, in case you have your favorite necklace and you don't want, you know, and it breaks, you have some spares, even the, the little beagle or the little uh, seed beads around here. Everything's still, they all have holes in them. These are cute earrings too, I love the backs. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. That's why I like, you know, sets. One of the reasons. This is a very pretty bracelet. I think this one is marked uh, Crown Trafari. And it's got some problems and I'll point them out. It is missing a pearl. That's probably an easy fix. But it looks like, I don't know if some of the pearls are, no, uh, it might be missing some coating there, I don't know. But I'm hoping that's a, a standard pearl and maybe I can fix it. But it's a beautiful crown to Trafari piece. It measured at seven inches and it is marked crown Trafari. All right, we're almost done. We got two more pieces. This is a very pretty piece. All the stones are there. It's a beautiful um, vintage choker and it measures. You can have it as short as, well, no one has 12 inches, all the way up to 16 inches. So that is just a beautiful Aurora Borealis. None of the stones are missing. It's in beautiful condition, just gorgeous. Okay, my last piece I was really excited about. This turned up. And I like this piece because it's in really immaculate shape. It's just beautiful. I love the chain. The chain is really very, I'm, I'm wondering if this is the same maker, but the chain is very similar. Well, maybe not really. It's not similar to that one. But the chain is, is in good shape. Um, but what really got me excited was when I went to look and here's, look at that little, little tag there. It's so cute. I looked and on the clasp, it says Lisner. So I got really excited about that. This is my first Lisner piece. I don't know if I can get as close, but that says Lisner there. So I was really happy and really thrilled about that. Nothing wrong with it. The chain itself looks a little different color than the, this piece, but I mean, I don't think it, I don't think it's, I think it belongs to that. I mean, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Um, but it's gorgeous. And total length is, what is that total length? 16 and a half. And it can be as short as 13. I, I don't know anybody who's got a tiny neck, but anyway, this I was thrilled about. So I'm going to end the video with this beautiful Lisner piece. piece. And thank you for watching my channel. This is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. And um, thank you for watching my video.